Well, <clears throat> welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is going to be a part two of the quick edit features in Photoshop Element 6. We kind of ran out of time on the first video, and I didn't want to shortchange you, so I thought I would go ahead and just do a part two so we can complete this tutorial and then move on to the guided edit um, section, which would be the next in the video tutorial series. So we went through the, the color changing and the lighting changing. If by any time or any means you don't like what you're seeing, all you have to do is click on this little um, red circle and that will undo what you've done. But we liked our color on this. I think the color looks really nice. It kind of set the picture off based on what the original was. So let's go ahead and click the checkbox. And what that's going to do is actually set those in to our edited picture. And we will give it just a second. And now the changes have actually taken effect. You can see now the circle and the, the check mark is gone. We can also go down here to the bottom where it says sharpen. You can click on this little triangle, open up the sharpen uh, window and we can sharpen our picture up a little bit. If you move this lever, <clears throat> excuse me, just like you did before, you can actually make that picture sharper than what it was originally. Or you can click on auto sharpen and allow the computer to make the changes for you. It didn't really do anything, so we're just gonna hit the little uh, circle there and undo those changes. Once you have it done, you can click back on the before and after and go to after only. And then this is the actual edited picture that we've done. We edited it out, cleaned it up a lot. Um, let's go ahead and just crop this uh, little boom box out here just so we can show you the changes once we get everything done. And click the little check box, little check mark there, and we're going to complete that. And there, now it's cropped down. It looks nice. Everything's up. It's kind of blown up a little bit. You can see the colors are very, uh, very vibrant uh, down here in the bottom. These blues have really set themselves off. The table's really super shiny. Looks like we used a uh, half a can of pledge on that thing to shine it up so nice. Now that we're done, we want to save this picture. So go up to File, and we're going to go to Save. Let's go to Save As. Click on the Save As button, and we should be getting a dialog box open here. And now, as you see, it's going to be underscored edited dash one because this is our first edit of this actual picture. And then, what it's going to do, it's going to include it in the organizer, and it's going to save it in a version set with the original. Because now, every edit you made, you want to keep the original picture and you want to continue to edit these and uh, make different versions of that actual picture, you can do so and easily find those in the organizer. So let's click on save. And this is just giving you a little bit about the version set, tells you a little bit about it. You can click on don't show again after you get used to it. Let's click OK. At that point, that's going to save that out for us. This is the quality that you want. If you're saving this out, you're going to put this on the internet. I would suggest lowering this resolution down a little bit, the image quality, and that's basically what you're doing. You're dropping the overall resolution. For the internet, 5 actually looks okay, and it's going to load on your load in the web browser on the internet a lot quicker. But for this, we're going to set it to 12. If you're going to print the picture out, anytime you're going to print, always save it the highest quality. Click OK. And then that's going to actually save that picture onto our hard drive exactly the way we have it. And it's also putting a copy of that in the organizer. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to close this out. If you right click down here in the bin, this is the bin of the files you're working on, and just click on close. You'll see here that's going to actually close the picture. That'll close this picture out. And there, the picture is closed. You can no longer see it in the bin. Now let's go ahead back to the organizer.
back to the organizer. Now, this is the original picture we started working on. And remember earlier in the series we talked about stacks. This is sort of a stack, but it's called a version set because there's different versions of the same picture in here. And if you want to open it, there's a little button here and it opens just like a drawer. Here's the one we just created. You can see it's cropped down and that's the original picture we started with. So it's a very nice, easy way to find your pictures that you're editing and know where they're actually all laying out at. You can close the version set just like you do a stack. Then, that's about all there is to it. And if you also notice, it also kept the original tags on both of those. And if you remember, the tags for that one was down here under Things, Radio. So if we click that, it will filter it out and as you can see both of the pictures in the version set are in there and we found them very quickly take that back off and that's it I really hope that you've been enjoying this video tutorial series on Photoshop Elements 6 um, by no means I'm the greatest expert in the world at Photoshop Elements 6 I've spent a lot of time playing with it probably not as much as I should but um, I learned a lot of tricks here and there with it and it works really really great so that's finishing up the tutorial on the quick edit feature. The next tutorial we'll be going into is called the guided edit. And that is where Photoshop Elements 6 kind of guides you through each process that you wish to do. And we'll be looking at that very soon. So until next time, enjoy, keep using uh, Photoshop Elements 6, and stay organized, and keep quickly editing your photos. And if you have any questions, please email me at jackstechcorner at gmail.com. Be glad to talk to you. And if you have time, sign up for the forums. Look on the left-hand side of the web page. You'll see forums. Go in there and sign up and let me know that you've been watching the video tutorials and, and what you think of them. And hopefully we can work together and uh, create more of these videos um, based on your demand. And check out all my videos at my YouTube channel. You can check those out. Um, just kind of follow these videos back and you'll find a YouTube channel. And you'll be able to watch all the different videos on the Windows series also. Take care, enjoy your day, and I'll see you next time.